hello to all my ladies that yes. stay all day and make the fellas come out to play. Now, you know when Cat Williams said gatekeepers? Yeah. Kevin Hart, mm -hmm. I do his um, podcast. Yes. And I want y'all to re-listen to the podcast so you can hear it for yourself. When he first comes on, he says, you're like my mother. You're like my aunt. You're like my sister. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then we do the podcast. We speak about the Tyler Perry situation. Oprah Winfrey, he said, I don't really know Oprah, but I'm going to reach out to Tyler. I appreciate that. Kevin kept his word. He reached out to Tyler Perry. Kevin Hart called me back about maybe a week or so later. He said, Mo, I talked to Tyler. He said he don't want to revisit it. He said, but I tell you what, let's move past that, Mo. Let's just move past that and let's just do great things. So whatever That's you, what Kevin said. I want you to hear me, Kevin Hart. Let's move past that, Mo. Let's do some great things together. Don't even worry about it. Whatever y'all want to do, I will partner with you. I'll executive produce with you. You just let me know what you want to do. Now, let me say that before we go any further, because okay. I want to make sure I give Kevin Hart his proper credit. When my family was up against the wall, Kevin Hart wrote us a check and said, here you go. We're forever grateful for that. When we were able to give it back, we said, brother, we appreciate you with some interest on top because I don't ever want nobody to think like me and my husband. Yeah. So I want to make sure I put that out there. That was, that brother really helped us out when we needed to be helped out. Then when he came back with, I got you. I didn't ask Kevin Hart to do anything. He said, I'll executive produce. I'll partner with you. I said, good shit, Kevin, because we're in a deal with Endemol and we're trying to get our talk show back. Mo, whatever it is, I got you. Now, Kevin Hart is one of the biggest entertainers right now in the world Correct. right and was then we got off the phone with kevin hart we called in the mall immediately and said kevin hart said whatever we want to do he got us he's going to partner executive use they was like oh this is incredible because when you put kevin hart name on it you already know what it is Correct. two weeks go by we get a call from in the mall in the mall says we just got a call from kevin hart's manager dave becky and dave becky said kevin doesn't want anything to do with monique so whatever she told y'all, he doesn't want to do anything with her, nothing. You know, he doesn't want any any kind of relationship with Monique. So what changed between the two weeks and when, and, and plus he gave you a check, you gave the money back, then said he would partner with you, executive produce, whatever you need, Mo, hey, we got you. So what transpired or what do you think transpired between then, that two that two-week period? Well, soon as we got off the phone and they told us what Kevin manager David Becky said, I called Kevin Hart immediately. I said, hey, baby, we just got off the phone with Endemol, and they said Dave Becky called them up and said, you don't want anything to do with me. He said, Mo, that's that's a miscommunication. I can tell you right now. I said, wait a minute. Are you okay, though, with this white man calling them up, getting in between our relationship at something? You said, he said, Mo, I'm, that's a miscommunication, and we're going to talk Tuesday. Don't worry about it. I, I'm telling you right now, it's a miscommunication. That was two years ago. If you talk to him, I talk to him. I've never talked back to Kevin Hart again. So that's what we're faced with. When you allow somebody to come in between a relationship with a woman that you said, I'm like your mother. You said, I'm like these things. I didn't ask you for that. So everything that that baby was saying sitting here, everything he was saying was on the up and up. Because when you hear people say, get the anger out your heart. Oh, man, no one's saying he's lying. No one ever said I was lying. It's so easy to discount and devalue because of what we look like. Right. When we have our juggernauts, Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry, Steve Harvey, the Kevin Hart, these are our juggernauts of our community. These are the people that our babies say, when I grow up, I want to be that. Yes. I want to be like that. So we have to call those people to the mat and say, listen, what are you teaching our babies? You're feeding poison because you're showing them your private jet. I'm going to show you my mansion. I'm going to show you my fancy cars. But my character is shot and I'm bankrupt. I got a lot of money in my bank. It's more zeros than some of them can, than we can imagine. But their character, they are bankrupt. Those are bankrupt people. So everybody that Kat sat right here and told you about, I can't wait to see your next interviews with those people. They ain't coming on now, Mo. Invite them. I have. They not going to do it? Well, 
Look, I've already done Steve. I have a relationship with Steve. He, do him he, again. Do him again. And I'm going to say this. I'm trying to get Oprah and, uh, and Tyler, though. Baby, we got him. Y'all, come on. Stop playing. They ain't coming on more fakes to you. You know how. And I don't want to put you on a spot, but I'm going to say it because <coughs> I appreciate you as a black man and what you're doing. Thank you. If you are my friend mm -hmm. and someone says to me, Monique Shannon shot wrong me. And you my friend. Yeah. I'm going to call my friend. You can come to me. And I'm going to say, hey, is what they saying true? And if you get to him and Han, I'm going to tell you till you fix it. You and I can't talk. Because if you'll do them that way, you do that. it'll be a matter of time before you do it to me. So if Steve Harvey is your friend, mm -hmm. you call your friend up and you ask him, is what our sister saying right, man? Because if it is, we can't do that to her. If that's our sister, 